garage racing. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi and a, just a cheap, cheap touch screen off Amazon that you can control your Mega Squirt with. Uh, this is what I'm using for my dash and my car. You guys have probably seen it in the other videos. Um, so let me show you the Mega Squirt box that we're going to be using today. This is uh, straight out of my car. It's just a Mega Squirt. 3x. We're going to be using the uh, USB port here. Some people call it phone jack. And then uh, I've got a uh, uh, gym stem here that will simulate the motor. And uh, our Pi stuff, we got a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B that I got from uh, Fry's last night for $35. And then I got a, a little Pi case here to put it in, which was uh, $8.99. I got a 16 gig micro SD card, which was <coughs> Jeez, micro SD here, $9.99. Then I got this kind of an impulse buy. It's a little mini keyboard. I think it may help setting this stuff up. And then this is the cool part. I got this off Amazon for fifty dollars, forty nine ninety nine. It's a uh, seven inch LCD touchscreen. <clears throat> so, how this works is uh, you have to install an operating system onto the Pi. And you also need to install Tuner Studio. So we're gonna go through that. Um, we have to format the SD card and we'll put the uh, cables and everything together. So. First things first. It's down here. This is the pie. And this is the case. together. That's the pie. Set it here. Here's the touch screen. It's got uh, CD drivers we don't need. It runs off HDMI. This HDMI cable comes with it, and then you also have to have USB power for it. Get that out of there. That's what it looks like. It's got uh, two micro SD ports and an HDMI on the back. This. And then here on the side of the pie is the HDMI port. I'm just going to plug that up with the cable that came with the screen. Kind of nice. You don't have to have any extra stuff or buy any extra things. They should come together. And then uh, this is the micro SD or micro USB and we'll just plug it into the side of the pie right here and while I'm here let's get this thing out charging cable in here.
that, and this could be handy in the car. Uh, if you're having trouble with your touch screen, you may want to hang keep it around. Inside, it's got this cell phone battery here, and it's got this USB dongle thing right here. Let's throw that to the side. Close it back off. Right, there's that. I'm going to take this little USB dongle. Shove it right in here. The Pi, the Pi has built-in Wi-Fi, so you really don't need anything to it. This is its uh, keyboard controller there. Uh, it has to have power, so what we're going to use uh, for the time being is just this little power brick, those phone charger things. Uh, we'll just plug it in on the side of the Pi when we get ready. But... basically this you just stuff this in your dash somewhere and then you'll have a either Bluetooth or a long USB cable that comes back to your mega square wherever you mount your car and that's your old screen rig. So the next phase we got to do is uh, we got to set up the operating system it uses a version of Linux uh, we're going to install it onto this card and then it goes right here like just like a phone you just stuff it in there. So let me get this out of here. And we'll go through the setup of this little SD card. Just going to stuff this in here. Right here on the side of the computer. 